arguably one of the funnest genres of music. It's fast, it's upbeat, it gives the finger to haters as it zips by on a Razor scooter pounding a can of Surge on its way to the mall. Few pop punk bands have had the consistency and longevity of Green Day, and part of that is the unrelenting and surprisingly melodic bass lines of Michael Ryan Pritchard. Y yep, that that's his name. That's Mike Dirt. That's that's a nickname. Dirt is a nickname, apparently because of the sounds he would make when he would show bass, like dirt, 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 dirt. Anyway, that and more fun facts right after a word from our sponsor. I'm just kidding, nobody wants to sponsor this garbage. <laughs> this is How to Sound Like, where I show you how to get the bass tones of the gods. Let's start as we often do by taking a look at Mike Dernt's gear. His rig has changed slightly over the years, so depending on which era of Green Day we're talking about, there's different gear, but the overall idea of his rig has pretty much been consistent the entire time. Dirt favors the neck pickup on his basses, plays with a pick, and goes straight into a tube amp. No pedals as far as I can tell. In the early days, Mike was scraping by with a PV Patriot into a GK400B, and then during the Dookie years, he upgraded to a Gibson G3 into an Ampeg SVT2. You can see that here in the background. These days, he's using a full Fender rig. He's generally using his signature P-Bass, which is basically like a 50s-style Tele bass with the 60s-style split coil precision pickup. On the amp side of things, he's using a Fender Super Bassman, which you could also kind of consider a signature piece of gear since he was deeply involved in the development of the amp. Worth noting, though, is that Green Day still plays a lot of their old songs at their live shows, and his new rig sounds awesome on all of it. For today, I'm going to be chasing the tone from 2004's American Idiot. This is a point where Mike Dirt was using Fender basses, but still using Ampeg amps. This is the album that high school me always listened to, so it's kind of nostalgic for me, which is why I chose it. So let's try and tackle this a couple of different ways. The bass I'm using today is a Squire Classic Vibe Precision Bass, and I'm going to be running that into my Fender Rumble 500. Essentially, what we're trying to achieve here is a lot of uh, low mid grunt, but also a high end clank. chasing this tone and finding that your bass is a little bit too muddy, probably the best thing you can do is get fresh strings on your bass. It'll make a world of difference. On the bass itself, I'm leaving the tone and the volume controls maxed out, and on the amp, I'm boosting both of the mid frequencies. The rumble has an interesting little tone section over on the side, and I liked the sound of having both the bright and the vintage switches on. Unfortunately, I forgot to turn them on when I recorded the video, so what you're hearing is with them off, but it still sounds pretty good. Okay, so the missing component we have here is that there's not quite enough grit. Fortunately for us, the rumble has an overdrive section, so if we turn that on, we get this sound. So we're in the neighborhood, but the rumble's overdrive to me feels a bit fizzy and not very warm. So let's try and put a pedal in front of it. I have a VT bass pedal, which essentially emulates an Ampeg amp. So we'll put that between the bass and the amp, leave the settings the same, and we get this sound. Closer, but not quite there. Because I'm recording straight from the DI into my interface, I'm not getting any of the room sound, which kind of makes it more live feeling. I live in an apartment and I don't really want to piss off my neighbors, so let's get into Logic and see if we can emulate that room sound a little bit more closely. Now Logic is a bit limiting on bass amps, but I found that I really liked their uh, Fender Bassman clone, they call it the Silver Face in Logic. And then I pair that up with the 212 matching cabinet, and it sounds pretty good on bass. A few minor tweaks to the compressor, and messing around with mic placement and EQ and a few other things, and we end up here. Alternatively, 
recently, I also created an amplitude preset with basically the same idea in mind. They also have a Fender Bassman clone, and you pair that up with a bass cab, and it sounds really good. So that's about as close as I can get. I think my limiting factor here is the strings on this bass. They're kind of old and frankly, I can't afford to pay $40 to make one. So unless Ernie Ball wants to sponsor me for the future, I think that we're just gonna leave it there. This is really starting to become a theme with these videos. Uh, next bass player I do is gonna benefit from having dead strings, mark my words. But anyway, there you have it. The classic pop punk sound as perfected by Mike Durnt from Green Day. Give these settings a try and do let me know down in the comments how they work out for you. If you'd like to try out the Logic or Amplitude presets, they are available for download on my Patreon. Click the link down below, throw me a couple bucks, and give them a whirl. Now, if you're a legend, you've already hit the like and subscribe buttons, but you can redeem yourself now. I make a new How to Sound Like video every month, so be sure to have notifications on so you know when those go live. I am AMP the bass player, and I'm gonna be honest, guys, ever since I mentioned Surge in the intro, I've been kind of craving one, so I'm gonna go get me a drink. Peace!